Well, if all goes well, we get paint on the bike this week. This is my inspiration. Welcome to Hack a Week. Well, I left off last week with uh, the edges here being fiberglassed and not finished. They've been since sanded a little bit and um, I put a uh, glazing coat on there so now I need to sand that smooth and then we can paint the seat white primer. Wipe down with some xylene. That uses up that can. I've been playing around with a little bit of Photoshop stuff on the bike and um, looking at what it looks like with the whole tank orange and then maybe a little black section right here on the seat and then go into the uh, three colors in the back red, white, and orange. But there's no really balance of red up front other than the covers on the uh, carburetors. Well, of course, there's the shock too, but nothing up front and the rims are going to be orange. Fender will stay black, but this whole area right here, I've had this idea in mind for a while, this triangle right here. Uh, what I want to do is take this hardware cloth, this expanded steel, cut a piece that goes right in there, shaped like that. Let's see if I can get a rough template cut out here. really cool once it's painted red. Time to apply the spot putty. It comes in a little tube and what it's for is little pinholes like these right here. Let's see if we can get in close. I'll show you. See these little guys? They don't always get filled in that easily with the uh, glazing putty. So we're gonna hit those with some of this finishing spot putty also known as scratch putty. It's red. So we'll put that on in all the places that it needs on the seat and tank and uh, give it one final sand then we can start painting. Pretty much just squeeze it right out of the tube right onto what you want to uh, putty. Use a spreader and push it in there. And I usually try to do it from two different directions to make sure the hole gets totally filled. Okay, so <laughs> I noticed a lot of pinholes and a lot of scratches, and that's what scratch putty's for. So I coated the whole thing, both pieces. We'll let that dry and uh, probably sand it tomorrow. I'm gonna let it really dry well overnight. While that scratch putty's drying, I'll uh, mount up this piece of mesh across here. I need to drill a hole and tap it right here. Tiny hole in the frame right here at a joint, so really shouldn't do much to the frame as far as any weakness besides it will be filled with a bolt one thing on the saber frame you don't want to drill in that bottom piece that runs down there because coolant runs through that that would not be good to drill a hole in that, now would it? Okay, let's run a six millimeter tap in there. You know this frame material is pretty thin wall, thinner than you think. 
when you drill a hole in it, it's like maybe a millimeter, eh, 1.2 millimeters, something like that. Not that thick. Got this piece all cut. The holes are cut where the uh, Allen head bolts will go. Of course, one of them is the one that holds the tank on up front, so that'll go right there. And the other one's right there. And that's that. That'll be painted red. And that is going to look pretty cool. So these need to be primered, painted with a base coat of white, and then we'll paint them Repsol winning red. Yep, that's right. One more time, sanding. Lots of sanding. Whew! All sanded. You can see here what the scratch coat does for you. It actually fills in little scratches that you wouldn't otherwise see all over the place. Little pinholes, like right there. All that stuff. Really important because if the pinholes are still there when the paint goes on, it will bead up around the pinholes and that isn't good. So this is ready for one more primer coat. And another primer coat. Well, the primer's dry, and let's jump back over here to my little uh, mesh guys. Get a base coat of white lacquer on those. Remember the little test box that I did way back? Um, well, I kept it and I uh, put a little bit of body filler on there and I sprayed it with the white lacquer and then I did a test spray of the uh, winning red. Woohoo! Does that ever pop? That's awesome. So that's the color that these will go and then also on the bottom of the seat in the back. These are dry now with the uh, white lacquer. Now it's time to get a coat of red on them. First thing to get some paint. Once those are dry, I'll flip them over, give the other side a light coat, and they'll be ready to go on the bike. I would really love to paint in the garage here this morning, but this fall weather is starting to get colder. It's like only 53 degrees outside, and right here in the shop right now, it is about yeah, 53 degrees, 53 or 54. So I'm trying to help it out here with a uh, radiation heater, a fan blowing across that, Another heater right here cranked up on full and another one over here trying to get some warmth into this garage. If I can get it up to about 65 then I would feel comfortable painting because too cold is not good when you're painting. It doesn't lay out well and um, well that's just how it goes. But anyway the tank's ready to get some uh, white lacquer applied to it. In the meantime I've got those uh, little red screens over there on the bench ready to go and I think I'll mount one up here on the frame and we'll take a look at what that's going to look like. I've got Allen head uh, bolts just like the ones that hold the tank in place so let's put some of those on here and see what it looks like. also have some big washers that I painted black. Well, there we go. That's pretty much what it's going to look like. Of course, the tank will come on here with the tab sitting in behind this piece right here and bolt on that way. But that's, uh, that's pretty sharp. I think it'll balance out the red, too. I'm going to have a red stripe on the back. In fact, let me go get a uh, rendering I did of what I want the bike to look like, and you can take a look at what I'm shooting for. So there is the uh, RC212V, the one I picked for my inspiration for the paint scheme on the bike. I found uh, the wings online on a decal site and copied the GIF and then took it into Illustrator and cleaned it up, turned it into a nice clean file. 
So I can make a vinyl sticker of that and put it on the tank. And then uh, here is my Photoshop rendering of what I would like to do with the bike. Um, I took the pictures that I took that had the cafe fairing on and reworked it a bit in Photoshop and got rid of the fairing and just did a mock-up of what the headlight would be roughly. And I uh, put the wings in there and manipulated them about where I think they need to be and copied a little bit of what's going on in the back here on the back cowl sort of like the uh, RC 212V and I may put the word Sabre right there um, in a type style very similar to Repsol and then up here in the tank I need to get a little Honda uh, old school Honda wings decal and I'll put that on the side of the tank up here someplace. Uh, but I think right here I'll probably put Saber V45, Saber, something like that. And of course, paint the uh, wheels orange as well. And there's the little red part that I just put in. It just kind of helps balance out some of the redness on the bike. But overall, I, I really like that. I think it's going to look pretty sweet. And I'll upholster up the seat black in this area. No paint along the edge, just do it black again. A lot like the race bike. So that's what we're shooting for. It's warm in here. We're up to about 64 degrees. Good enough to paint. Got the tank all prepped. All the ignition sources are turned off. No heaters in here. We don't want things exploding now, do we? I've got a little bit of a circulation fan going. Got the respirator ready. Let's paint this sucker. And that is that. Let's let it dry for a while and we'll get the orange on there. Time for the orange. Wow, just wow. Glad to see this thing finally painted orange. It is beautiful. I love it. It's gonna look awesome with the graphics on it. I've got an orange tank, finally. Good to have some paint going on the bike. I got the white on the seat here just a few minutes ago. I'm not gonna shoot color on that just today. It's getting a little late in the day and it's getting a little bit cool. I'll wait till uh, this week to do that, finish it up. I've got graphics going for it. Made a uh, little logo that says V45 Sabre. Looks a little bit like the word Repsol. So that'll go on there. Got to get 
get uh, the vinyl stickers cut out and all that stuff and uh, we'll get rolling with it. So as always, thanks for watching. And if you're so inclined, go to the website, hit the donate button, throw a few bucks my way and I'll keep on making videos. The CB project will be coming up soon. I'm gonna take a break after this one for a little while. So you'll have fun going back and watching all my other Hack a Week videos for a month or so until I get rolling on that. So next week we'll have uh, more paint happening and graphics. Till next time. All of my ignition sources in here are extinguished. The only thing left on is a fan to circulate a little bit of air. <coughs> okay. Start that over.